name is uh, Daniel. I am a postdoctoral research fellow at Southern Cross University, and I've been uh, working on inshore dolphin here in um, in Keppel Bay for uh, the last the last seven years. Uh, for sure, this is a, a very important habitat for uh, for this population of snuffing dolphins. So the whole estuary is very is fundamental for their long-term survival. So um, I guess any modification of the environment can potentially have. Uh, uh, a substantial impact on this population. This population we have about 80 to 90 individuals living here and uh, it's a fairly rare resident population. It's the southernmost population in Australia water um, and, the for, and the forest but, uh, has a particular ecological importance and uh, it's also potentially genetically isolated from uh, other population in Australia. My name's Ginny and I'm a commercial skipper and I'm up here with Daniel who's doing research on the snubfin dolphin and Indo-Pacific comeback dolphin. Oh, we're actually in um, a creek that runs in through Balaclava Island, uh, right in the um, Delta area, and um, it's a mangrove area. And this is a really special part of the ecosystem because this is where the fish breeding goes on and it's um, uh, the area that provides a nursery, if you like, for some of the really critical fish species in the area. And those fish are also the fish that the dolphin feed on. So sometimes the dolphin will come up into this area. And um, this part of the delta acts as a critical fil filtering system for the water that comes out of the Fitzroy River. So it filters the water that's coming out of that river and deposits the silt in this area. So um, it actually acts as a really critical part of the ecosystem. Uh, the snuffin is a very quiet, uh, slow-moving uh, uh, dolphin. It's not uh, very active like uh, the common bottlenose dolphin. Um, but it's somehow very funny as uh, this uh, nice uh, rounded head. And they do split water sometimes, so it, um, uh, it's very cool to watch them in their normal environment. I think that the snubfin dolphin are a really specific species that live locally in this delta. And living locally in the delta, they would um, suffer extreme impacts from the proposed developments because of the dredging and the construction issues because of the constant vessel traffic in the region. This is their feeding ground. This is the area where they um, live and, and breed and feed. And so any impact on the delta habitat will directly impact on the dolphin.